Hi, this is Vadye, and I'm gonna show you how Metashoot works. We have here a new Unreal Engine 5 project, uh, use the blank template, and the first thing we need to do is to enable Metashoot. In order to do that, we come here to Edit, Plugins, and we type Metashoot. As you can see here, it's already enabled, but if you don't have this tick in the box, you just click it. Um, you might need to restart the project, uh, just do it and it will be installed. Uh, next thing we need to do is enable the movie render queue. So if you type movie render, uh, you will see uh, these two plugins that come with Unreal Engine. We need both of them. So enable this one and enable this one. This message will come out, um, will come up just about the, the additional passes render the re additional render pass has been a, a beta stage, so just click yes, and that's all good. Um, it requires to restart the project, so restart it now. Cool, so now we have the project restarted. The first thing we need to do is to open up Metashoot. To do that, we come to Window, Metashoot, here at the bottom. It will uh, open this window. Uh, it might just open it up as a pop-up window in the middle, in that case, you can just drag it here and dock it in the UI next to place actors. Um, and from this point, what we need to do to have a, our first studio is to create an empty level. So if we come to the content drawer, we can right click, create a level, and I'm gonna call this one demo. I'll open it up, save it. And we have here an, a fully empty level, just normal Unreal Engine uh, level. And the first thing we need to do is to drag our studio from Metashoot to the level. As you can see here, we get this like black and white uh, image. This is just because we are zoomed in, in the on the floor. So if we move around as you would usually do and like zoom out, um, you can see the full studio. By doing this, it already comes with all the elements from Metashoot. Um, so we have the camera, we have the some different lights here, uh, the um, overhead light bank, we have the sample, we have the target here uh, behind, we have the studio actor, we have the turntable, and the cyclorama, and the rail system. Um, for this demo, I'm gonna showcase uh, a 3D model um, that Pablo Muñoz Gómez, uh, also known as Pablander, who is an ex ex exceptional uh, ZBrush artist, uh, has allowed me to use for, for this showcase. So thanks, Pablo. I'll link some. Uh, I'll put some links around to, to your work because it's amazing. Um, so to do that, I'm just gonna get rid of the sample. When you delete something from the scene that is referencing other Metashoot actors, it will pop up this message, but you use, uh, you can click use yes, and it will be totally fine. So in my content drawer, I already have um, this actor with Pablo's model. I'm gonna place it in the scene and use um, reset the coordinates to zero. By default, the, um, um, the Metashoot Studio is spawned in the zero coordinate. So everything that you put in zero, it will match the center of the studio and the, the, the ground, the floor. So we have our actor in place. Uh, first thing we need to do is to check the camera um, and it's out of frame. So I'm gonna just pin the camera down to have always this view here. And here from the outliner, I'm gonna select the target, which is just hidden inside the model at the moment. And I'm gonna bring it up and forward so that it focuses on the face just like so. What this target actor does is leads the, um, the focus point for the camera and the tracking uh, point. So as you can see, when I move the, the, the target, not only the camera, but also the lights move following it. And the depth of field and the, um, uh, the point of focus of the camera will be dictated by it as well. So you want to make sure that you want that you have it in the, in the position where, where you actually want the focus to be. Um, 
I want to show a bit more of the of the model, so I'm gonna move the camera back a bit, something like that, and maybe lower down the target so we show a bit more of the body. Perfect. So we have the um, um, the studio uh, ready or like the 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 camera setup and all that. Um, but I'm I want to play with the lighting a bit now. So if I come to the presets tab here in Metashoot interface, we have these eight presets. The the first one that spawns with the with the studio is this one. Um, but I want to try uh, some others here. So because we have already modified the camera and the target, I want to uncheck the camera and the target um, from the um, from the update. Otherwise, everything will be revert reverted back to normal, to to the original position. Um, I also want to uncheck the sample because we we have gotten rid of it and I don't want it to spawn again. So with this, um, I'm already able to just click on one of the other presets and see how it affects the, the whole scene. As you can see, the presets change both the lighting and the background and the colors and the, um, um, everything in the scene. This last preset is the one I used for the trailer and for the website with this model. Um, I think it was uh, a really, really good um, preset to showcase this model. But in this case, for the demo, I'm going to try another one and play a bit with it. So I'll go for this one, which, as you can see, makes the cyclorama split the colors into two. Um, that's to get the, the sides of it uh, darker. And what I'm going to do with this is I want to increase the, the top-down light, let's say to 500. I also want more light coming from the left. So I'll move this one. And I think this one is fine, but I want it to be just in the back to have just a bit of reflection, but not give too much light to the model. So something like this um, seems to be fine. Also, remember that in, in Metashoot, you can move all the lights around and the support system updates in real time. So as you can see at the top, the, the rail and the scissor uh, the scissor system are updating and also if you move the the lights the tripod will be always in place and it will follow um, anywhere you you put it so in this case I'm happy with this lighting to to showcase this model and let's say just for for the demo that we instead of one single render we want to do the the whole turntable of it um, so we have this actor here, this turntable, meta shoot turntable, and this gives us a really quick way of doing a 360 degree video of the of the model. Um, when you select it, you have this actor option here, and if you choose the pick actor and click on on the one that you want to showcase, um, automatically um, moves it inside the turntable. This means that when we hit play the whole actor will rotate as per the turntable settings. In this case, the turntable uh, is set up for five seconds duration and 360 degrees. So that's a, a full loop. Perfect. So now that we have the lighting, um, we're going to throw, we're going to just launch a render. Usually you would, you would, in Unreal Engine, you would create the level sequence and go to the movie sequencer uh, sorry, the movie render queue and set everything up there. With Metashoot, everything is in one place. So you just come to the render tab and you have all the settings here. So we're going to name this project Shaman. We're going to leave it at um, 1080p. Um, this is a turntable, but for the sake of uh, the demo, I'm just going to render one single frame or just two to see how a, a whole sequence renders. And my go-to for um, for high-quality renders is going to ultra-high quality and using only the path tracer. I also remove the denoiser because I, um, I like a bit of grain in the image. And if the quality is high enough, you don't really need that denoiser. And 
in this case, having used a couple of frames, I'm going to get rid of the motion blur. But if you have something, an actor that is animated or a turntable that wants to have some proper um, motion blur, you, you can just activate this, this checkbox. So with all that in place, I just need to hit render. Oh, um, good point. I need to select the camera first or the studio where the camera is, either or, and now hit render. Awesome. Once the render has finished, um, we can find it in our project folder, so wherever this project is, saved, movie renders, and a folder will have been created uh, with the same name that you applied to the project. So if I open the folder, I get my two frames that I, I set up. And as you can see, this is the beginning of the turntable, so it starts rotating. If you turn it, if you uh, get the frames up to um, 100 or like the, the duration of the turntable, you will get all the, all the frames from all the angles. So this is it. This is Metashoot. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy using it. And if you have any questions, we have a Discord channel. Um, you can find it on, on the website, which is metashoot.vinzi.xyz. And yeah, uh, I hope you, you like it. See you soon.